Hey guys, Jared Murphy here. I had a subscriber email me the other day and ask me if I would make a video on how to make a lifeline. They were watching our uh, do-it-yourself, how to make a lineman's belt video, and they were wanting to make a lifeline. And I said, absolutely, I'll make a video. Well, you really only need three things. You need a uh, 40 foot of 11 millimeter rope, four foot of eight millimeter rope, and a carabiner. That's all you need to make a lifeline. So basically, whenever I order my my rope, I order it in uh, 60 foot sections and I get my climbing rope from Amazon and I'll leave a link down in the description uh, to where you can order the same rope that I use. Out of a 60 foot uh, piece of climbing rope, I'll make a 40 foot lifeline and two 10 foot um, lineman belts. So basically to start our lifeline, all we got to do is just take our rope, our main line, and we got to create a loop in the end of it that way when we wrap it around a tree we have a loop here to feed the rest of our rope through that way we can cinch it down and that's where our rope will be connected to the tree so basically we're just going to take about 15 inches of uh, the end of our rope and we're going to create a loop just like that so we've got our tag in at the bottom our main line on top and basically just tie an overhand knot in it so I'm just going to take it, take it around itself, create a loop there, pull it, our loop through, pull it tight. It won't slip either way. So tag in won't slip, main line won't slip, and you've got a solid knot with the loop right there. Now, if you don't want that tag in hanging there, you can take a piece of shrink tubing and put on there, and that'll make that more streamlined. So to make our Prusik knot, we take four foot of eight millimeter rope. Now I know that four foot seems like a lot of rope, but by the time we tie a double fisherman's knot right here, and then we wrap it around our main line, we'll understand why we got four foot of rope. So I'm basically gonna take my two ends and I'm just gonna pull them like that and I'm gonna create a kind of a circle right here. I'm gonna have a loop and my two ends are gonna be like this and I'm just gonna pinch them together just like just like so. And I'm gonna take this end and make a loop just like that. And then I'm gonna pinch it right there and then I'm gonna take it under and I'm gonna wrap it around twice. So there's once, bring it back around and under, there's twice, and then come back up, but instead of wrapping around the third time, I'm gonna take it under those two loops that are on the main line and the tag in and then I'm just going to work them and snug them down and there is one side of the fisherman's knot we're going to put a double in here and we're going to do the same process we're going to go under this time and then we're going to go over so there's once there's twice, and we bring it up. We're gonna feed it through those two loops. And I'm just gonna manipulate, cause I don't want a lot of tag in sticking out, but you gotta have some tag in. Then I'm gonna take them and just slide them together. And hey, you know, you tied it correctly, you'll have like four bands here. And then on the other side, you'll have two X's. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pull it tight. And as you can see, you can see those, you can see those two tag ends cinched down. So after you cinch it down and you have this knot, your double fisherman's knot tied. This is the first step in making our Prusik knot. So now we gotta take this and put it on our main line. So now we have our main line here and we have the start of our Prusik knot. Just like in our uh, Lyman's uh, belt video, we don't wanna put our knot up here at the top. We wanna offset it and put it on the side. We're gonna take this and we're gonna feed it through four times. So there's once, we we'll keep everything in line. There's twice. There's three times. 
and sometimes you'll have to give yourself a little slack. So I may pull this a little bit. And we're going to come through for the fourth time. Right there. It's number four. And we're going to snug everything down and start tightening it up. So pull it this way. Pull it that way. Pull it. Pull it. And as, as we do that, that tightens it up. And now we have our Prusik knot. Then we'll take our carabiner, hook it on there. So now we have we have our lifeline complete. So that's basically all there is to making your own lifeline is just creating that loop on the end of your line by tying an overhand knot. And the hardest part is making your uh, your rope with the double fisherman's knot in it to create your Prusik knot. Once you have those done, hey, you're ready to go. And I'll demonstrate how you put it on the tree right here. We'll take the loop that we created and I'm gonna take my rope and feed it through there. Feed my Prusik knot through there. Feed my rope through there. And I get it on there. And I, I tend to wanna to put it as high as I can get it. Take it, cinch it down. I have my rope secured up here, and I have my Prusik knot where I can slide it up and down so when I'm at the bottom of the tree before I start climbing, I can hook it to my safety harness, and I can start climbing up the tree and moving. I'm secure. I'm safe. If I were to have an accident, my lifeline is going to catch me, and I'm going to be able to go home to my family after my hunt's over. Well, guys, that's it. Lifelines, they're simple to make. They're not that hard. I hope you liked that video, and I hope you found it helpful. If you did like it, hit that like button and give us a thumbs up. Hey, leave us a comment. Leave, we'd love to hear your feedback on this. Give us some ideas on some other videos you'd like to see. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell to get notified of all the videos that we're uploading. Guys, until next time, we'll see you all on down the road.